What's up, everybody? Welcome in to another episode of the Ennis Cantor Show podcast on the NBC Sports Boston Podcast Network. I'm your host, Chris Forsberg, here in quarantine land, out in much nicer locations. We got Ennis wearing my glasses all of a sudden. He's stealing my know, right? If he shows up with a faux hawk, I'm going to be extremely concerned. <laughs> and joining us for the second time on the Ennis Cantor Show, Mr. Vincent Poirier. Vincent. Vincent, what's going on? Well, I should have some sunglasses too. Why am I? <laughs> <laughs> I Go get it, Vincent. Next break, in the, next break in the action. You can put those right on, and we'll and we'll be going. Uh, okay. you, <laughs> we'll start here while Vincent is getting his sunglasses. Uh, Ennis, how are you doing? I'm good, man. You know, life is yeah, same. Trying to be good. Trying to be okay. Trying to stay positive. You know, yeah. like you know, like always. Oh, we all go, oh my God! That's the real, that's the reason I know. He got, let me tell you something. I have I have so many rookies, right? I, it's my nephew in the league, but I have not seen a swag, a rookie swag like he does. Well, he doesn't. I mean, he's European. He's European, so it doesn't really count as a like as a rookie. But like as, a, as a, all rookies that I know, he got the more swag. I got, I'm French. That's why. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> rookie, rookie swag of the year for sure. Those glasses are out of control. Uh, tank top, Vincent. You, 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 how's the that quarantine? I know. Like, how's quarantine life treating you? Uh, that's odd. Can't lie. Uh, you know, stay the uh, stay at home like that. Not playing basketball since two months now. Oof. That's tough. That's tough. But you know, we try to just stay positive. And working on something else. I start to read. Gonna learn piano. Ooh. Yeah, right. Yeah, man. I called GB. I said, yo, I need some piano lesson. He said, okay, I got you, bro. So he's gonna give me his, uh, he got a piano or something like that. He's gonna, he gonna give me. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually trying to learn how to play piano too, and it's not going too well. I was gonna say, how. how where you, where you at, Ennis? Like, can you play anything yet? I'm in Chicago. I'm, 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 the piano's downstairs, but I'm actually like more than anything, man. I'm really focusing on cooking. You know, mm. let me tell you something, man. After I cook, I end up eating cereal like almost every time. But you know what? I gotta try. I gotta try something. Vincent, well, <clears throat> Vincent, how are you at cooking? Uh, I got a wife. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> so I'm great. <laughs> We say you're about to have a baby, right? Is it going to be a girl yes, or a boy? Yes, when? A girl. Uh, She's a girl. September. Yeah. That's nice, man. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, how, man. Can I... How excited are you? Green son going to be a dad, man. That's that's wild. Yeah, that's why, too. When I think about that, I'm like, yo. <laughs> Did you pick a name yet? Yeah, but uh, I can't say. Oh, secret. It's definitely going to be NS Poirier. <laughs> yeah, but for a girl. <laughs> uh, you know, for I some reason, why well, was worth the name my kid Chipotle? It's so weird. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> and you, when you got a girl, oh boy. As a, as a daughter of two girls, Vincent, I can tell you it is no greater feeling. I was the dad who wanted a boy desperately when I was my, we found out that my wife was pregnant. And then when we found out it was a girl, I was like, oh no, how am I going to teach this kid anything? Well, during quarantine, we've got a basketball hoop outside now. We're playing hoops. It's been great, and like I, when we had number two, I said, "Please, please be a girl," because there is nothing better than wow. bringing girls along. And so and my is- girl, my girl wanted a boy, but when I knew like the girl preferred the dad, I was like, "Yo, I want a girl. I want a girl right now. I want to wow. be the favorite." That's amazing, man. Ennis, now, right. Ennis, now that you've lived with two young children, are you or three young children? Are you ready? Uh, are, are you eager to be a dad? Oh my God, there's no way. Let me <laughs> tell you something, cat. man. You, got a cat too. you know, you know how many times? I, listen, man. You know how many times I was about to get hurt because of the Legos in the, on the ground that I stepped <laughs> on like every time. Like it, it's so crazy, but like it just it's a huge responsibility, man. Like see, like them, it's like. You cannot cuss around them. You got to teach them good because they're saving everything. Like, you, I, I have a phone conversation with my friend. And, like, the next thing I know, like, they repeat the same thing I said, like, after 10 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. Bro, it's, like, big responsibility, man. And I am not ready for that. 
how is uh, how is the pet life going though? Berry Cat has been uh, has been a big deal for you, right? That's not, yeah, it is actually. We've been making a lot of I don't know videos and hanging out with her and stuff. <laughs> I mean, I got I got a lot of bites marked all over me because like I squeeze her too much sometimes, and uh, just because I want to like take a picture, I was like, trying to put her in like in a different mood, and like she like scratches me. Don't you forget. Other than that, we good, man. So, Vincent, what have you been able to do? A lot of people are wondering what Celtics players can do to stay active, to stay ready in case the season does resume. How, how much can you get workout-wise, basketball-wise? What have you been able to do? Uh, so, basically, I order some, I order some stuff to practice, like T-Rex, uh, kind of everything, um, bands, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I'm walking out in my, my second, round, second room, and uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to the track. There's a track near to my house, so I'm going there in the morning, early, like, and I run, do some sprint, cardio, and stuff. Uh, bro, did you gain weight, bro? What? Did you gain weight? Cause like I gain weight. I'm not gonna lie. I gain at least like seventy eight pounds. I talked to Taco. Taco gained eight pounds too. What about you? Uh, I'm 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 eating good. So no, I'm 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 fit. Like. That's what happens when you have I, I don't have any balance, so <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> but, but, no, I feel it, man. No, I don't think so. That's what happens when you have a wife that cooks every day, huh? <laughs> must, yeah. must be nice. Jeez. Must be nice. Yeah, that's better. But no, I don't know. No, no. I feel good. I never get any, any weight or anything, so. You know. How are these Zoom workouts going? Like, I so a trainer hops on with you and just kind of leads you through what you can do, and and it, like it, it's just gonna be weird though, right? Like trying to. Uh, I'm not on Zoom workout, so I call my couch. My, I call the the couch, uh, the coach, the coach every day, mm -hmm. and he send me like uh, all the stuff I have to do, and that's it. After I call him, I say okay, I did everything. That was great, or that was bad sometimes, but. Um, I'm not. I'm not doing some stuff like that on Zoom. <laughs> That's why exactly. Yes. Yep. We do that sometimes. Uh, no. 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 I, walking by myself, low key. That's it. And as I saw, you said something where you were impressed because some of your teammates are using like suitcases filled of, filled with clothes to simulate weights and all that. One, who yeah. was it? Because Celtics people are all curious. Like, was it Taco? It was taco. So, like, listen, man, some people live in a big houses, right? But some, like, dudes are, like, living in the hotel rooms or, like, some you know, apartments. I promise, like, that's, like, dedication, man. That's, like, a championship mentality. I saw Taco having a big suitcase, pulling his bag and doing squats. I saw him, like, doing, doing curls with the suit bag. I'm, like, dude, this is crazy. This that's is different, wild. yeah. I did that with the bottle of water. Like, a big pack. I was, like, squat. And I was, like, yo, I look good. <laughs> Which Celtics teammate is going most crazy during quarantine? Like, who's the guy in the Zoom chat that just has no idea what to do? <laughs> Anna? Oh, here. I don't know. Where to yeah, I don't know. I don't know which which way we're gonna end up looking. Oh, There's literally a TikTok video. Like, uh, every hour, besides the me, every hour doing some like <laughs> it, it's it's fun oh, because like, let me tell you something, man. Cause just you know what? I'm, sometimes I'm thinking like I wish I was a gamer. Cause like, I talk like I talk to this mm -hmm. guy. I talk to Shemi. I talk to you know just Tice. They they play like games for like five six hours and like they literally kill times. But like me, I don't play games. So like, what am I gonna do? Oh, I just picked that shit today. Look at that. That's the gamer gamer play. <laughs> uh, exactly. Game. There, there you go. <laughs> Vincent, every time I look up, you're posting your, your, your game stats. There's screenshots on Instagram of how well you're doing, the kills you have, and all this. Uh, what, like, and you're playing in tournaments now, did I see? You're representing France? No, no, no. Um, but I'm playing with my friend and stuff. So all right, all right. But I do some, some um, streaming with some pro in France, and, um, and, and I'm going to do the Wazum Shady with the Boston Celtics. Uh, mm -hmm. There is like a tournament for Shady, so I will do that. Oh, uh, neat. Yeah. Who the best, yeah. though? Who is the best? Like, is it either you or Shimmy? Because I always hear, like, uh, who is the best? Is either... Shimmy's pretty good. Uh, Shimmy's pretty good. I think Shimmy's the best. But, uh, you know, 
you can't really compare yourself. Like, uh, if he's the best, I'm just under, you know? <laughs> okay, under. okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to start streaming really soon. I uh, order everything. Ooh. So soon I'm, I will be on Twitch. You can see all my kids. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Everybody go subscribe. Watch NBA Gamers on Twitch. Uh, which, which teammate is the most active reaching out to you guys, making sure everyone's okay? Which, who's lo- sort of like checking on everybody during this quarantine? Hmm. I'm trying to think who. Marcus, Marcus, Jalen. Hmm. I mean, maybe Marcus nobody does, could Jalen does, yeah. You know. Um, Kemba, too. Kemba, call me. I mean, that's pretty cool, yeah, right? Kemba. Like, like, no offense. Kemba like, hasn't called me, man. Kemba oh, hasn't no. called me. That's messed up. Yeah, man. Kemba, come on now, man. He called me at the beginning. Like, it was, like, a long time ago. But I got on Snapchat, so sometimes we, 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 we talk to each other. But... I don't know. I, I don't even know if he has my number. He better say my number. <laughs> I don't even know if he has my number. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty much everything because we have a, a group chat, so everybody is texting, Yo, you, you're good, you're, you know, so... <laughs> What are those group chats like? Are, are, are jokes flying? Are they serious? Like, we don't want I, to know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine. I bet you guys are, I don't, I don't even want to know. Um, there's this Friday, NBA gyms will open in some cities that don't still have stay at home orders. How eager are you guys to get back in NS to just start working out in an NBA facility? And I guess, where do you stand on that? If, if, if Boston ends up lifting its stay-at-home order on, on May 18th, I believe it is, is that something you want to come back and start working out here? I, uh, I talked to Mayor today, actually. Um, I think, you know, just, just because of they, want to do, they want to do everything in, like, in a safe way. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think they're just going to wait till the May 18th, and then they, they're going – because, like, some states are like, okay, they're, they're, they're not too bad. But, like, Massachusetts and, like, in America, the top three. It goes New York, New Jersey, then then MA. You know, so like, I think they need to do everything to just just keep the better players and the people safe. But I think right now the the, the thing is that May 18. So if that's the case, I will will come back for sure to just you know just do some one on one workouts, I guess, with the you know with the coaches. But uh, if not that, man, I think we're just gonna wait and see. Vincent, have you been able to play basketball? Like, have you? Is there a hoop anywhere you can go play on? Anything you can do? No, because they, they they take off all the hoop in the city. Yeah. Like the yeah. track I'm going with, there is basketball court just uh, just on the side, but they, they, they take off the rim and everything. So no basketball. Are you guys worried at all about the fact that others can get back in the gym? There's been some talk about, is there a competitive disadvantage because the 76ers can start, you know, at some point before you guys, or is that overblown? Is it just like, if this season is going to start, it feels like there's going to be equal opportunity for everybody to ramp up. Hmm. I mean, it's so like you can't look at it both way. I mean, obviously, of course, it's not fair. The one state starts early, one fair does not start early. But like the same time, man, I mean, I, I don't blame him. Obviously, every player wants to go out there and just start, you know, playing basketball. So I'm not going to be like, oh, I don't want Philly to practice or I don't want this team to practice, whatever. I mean, Good, good for them, man. You know, I, I feel like, you know, just to get into that gym and smell that atmosphere, I think it's just yeah. we all miss it. So I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, this is not fair. Vincent, what do you miss the most about being around your teammates? Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, wait. <laughs> we saw, you got the point. <laughs> that was impeccable timing. Either his phone died or he had his wife call him to get him off the hook. For having to respond to Ennis getting dunked on. Hey, hold on, he just texted me. <laughs> he said, I can't join anymore. Everyone is disconnecting on me. This is amazing. He's a busy man. <laughs> yeah, that was like the <laughs> perfect timing, though. That was like the perfect timing. <laughs> All right, somebody called me, I was like, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, so what I miss the most, I mean, it's just being around everybody, you know, yeah. going to yeah. the gym in the morning and just see everybody like happy and ready to work. I think it's the, the most. With, Anna says he's been dunking on you. Is that, I mean, that, that can't be true, right? Yeah, we've we seen that all season long. You might, might dunk two times. So 
good. <laughs> Nobody trusts him. We've seen all the video he put on Instagram when he dunked the ball, but we all know the dream is really low. So oh, good. my God. Ennis, what do you miss most? Vincent. I think like, 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 we, <laughs> I think like, you know, I miss the locker room, man. You know, more than basketball, just being around those guys, just being, you know, just they're sharing things, having fun with them, you joke at them and laugh at them and stuff. I think just, I think just having fun in a locker room, I think I feel, I, I miss the most because you play with these, with these guys so much. They just not, they're just not your teammate. They become your brothers, you know? Are you tearing up? Yeah, you know, you're not tearing up, Vincent. I thought that was the thing. <laughs> So that he's gonna cry, but like no man, I I miss those guys a lot because like I mean obviously we've been we haven't seen each other for a long time, but uh, I miss them a lot. All right, give give me a what's your confidence that we're gonna see basketball again? I mean I'm not asking for inside info what you're hearing, but like just in your gut, do you think we're gonna finish this season, Vincent? Do you think we're gonna be able to crown a champion this year? First, I don't have any inside info. First. <laughs> So all I know is like we don't know. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a 50-50 right now. Um, it depends on everything, but I don't know, man. Playing without fun is gonna be tough. But uh, I wish, I wish we can play basketball. I wish, really. But. The potential you guys have—that's why everybody wants to see it. Like I feel like we barely saw you guys healthy. Now, right. 50 days later, it feels like, man, I want to see this team on the court and, us and, exactly. and see what you guys can do. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, – so tomorrow we're going to have, we're gonna have this, uh, you know, call with Adam Silver uh, Friday. So I think we are going to know more what's going on tomorrow because Adam Silver is going to just speak to all of us. I mean, just, just wait. I mean, we're just going to wait. Like Vincent said, man, we're just going to wait, wait and see because we don't know. Like, there's something bigger than – bigger happening than going on right now. And, you know, basketball. So, like, I guess we, all we can do is just, just wait and see. Um, let's see. What else, what else have you got, What else have you been doing for fun, Vincent? Like, what, what can you do to, to stay active, to stay – keep your mind busy? What's, what else have you been doing? All I can say is they call me Vinny Sexpin for a reason. Oh, my Lord. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> and we have our promo play. <laughs> no, there you go, yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, you know, I tried to walk to the park. There is the common park right uh, down to my, to my, to my building. So, you know, I tried to walk a little bit, just stay active, you know, because I, I live in a small apartment. So, I'm just being sit on the on the couch is not really fun. Um, but that's it. That's really it. I play video games, watching film, watching series. Uh, that's pretty much. I call NS sometimes when I'm when I'm growing. So that's it. That's it. Yeah. Ennis, besides cooking, what have, what else have you been 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 dabbling in now? I mean, just chilling, man. People call on their coach. I'm call, I'm calling my couch. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just like chilling, watching TV. I actually watch and try to watch a lot of documentary. We just uh, talk about it. Try to read it actually. And other than that, I think just I actually started the being a trying to be a gardener. I don't know, post some pitcher garden and stuff. Yeah, I actually just try to put just some like water on the plants. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that means I'm 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 doing some gardener seriously. Well, I try to make put something a plant in, plant in. Try to make some like tomatoes actually and stuff. So it's 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 fun. Wow, uh, Vincent. So I know for me. It's been a while since I put on pants. It's been like, it's been Chris sex, sex pants, uh, sweatpants. Oh, love. What a conversation. <laughs> are, are, are you Vinny sexy sweatpants or like, are you still getting dressed up throughout, throughout this quarantine? Uh, no, really. I wear the, pija the pajama I wear during the gala. So mm -hmm. sometimes I'm like, okay, today I put the pajama on. <laughs> but that's pretty weird. Like, that's the most I can do right now. Like, that's it. Ennis, do you get do you get dressed up at all? Oh no, man. <laughs> last time I I never dressed up. Ask me, son. The last time I dressed up was when I went to Washington, D.C. and like in a yeah, that was the last time I dressed up. But like besides that, that, man, I've been wearing the sweatpants and shorts like the last you know fifty days. Yeah. It's like, I mean, we we we're talking about like our haircut is bad. Have you seen Jason Tatum's haircut? Bad. I mean, he, oh, I think... he, sorry, not a haircut. His hair. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just everywhere. Like, I mean, I'm one to talk here, but uh, it, it, it's pretty bad. I mean, he, he, he needs to sell that for charity at some point and right, let, huh? someone, let someone cut that up. Uh, listen, I know you guys have been sworn to secrecy on your Zoom meetings, but Danny Ainge spilled the guts there. He's like, he said that LL Cool J, uh, Mark Wahlberg, you got to get your guy Donnie on there. <laughs> Dennis, I don't know, like, I, like, you can't leave Donnie Wahlberg hanging. You got to get him on a Zoom meeting right. uh, with y'all. What, what has been the, your, your favorite meeting? And what, I guess, what have you taken away from those? Vincent. Oh, me. Uh, you know, that was cool. That was cool because you, you have the opportunity to talk with some, some people who got experience and, and everything. So they, 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 they tell you what they're doing, uh, you know, for... For example, after the, the the career or whatever, so you learn. Like I know, Ellen Kuje was like, yeah. So I try to to learn uh, other stuff than just music or or everything. So that's what I do. I try to to read. Yeah, Ines, I try to read in that's, English. Yeah, that's, that's that's shocking. In English, that's, I got a that's, book. That's, like, that's double shocking. Big time. That's a book, like we teach you all the business secret and everything. So, you know, I try, I do some puzzle too, but I try to read some, some, okay. some good thing. Uh, I lost one book in a plane last time. So, <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> damn. But, you know, I got, got a little book, like uh, 10 books to read. Man. I start one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I finished two. Already. I got one for the, how to be a dad. Oh. Okay. I, How to be a dad. That's nice. Yeah. I was just like... my, my girl bought me the... She said, yeah, you need to read this. <laughs> ah, the dog is the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> There's no guide for you. You're just going to have to be ready. And it's like, what, what has been your favorite of, uh, of your meetings? Oh, man, the man... It's a, Donnie just spilled the um, beans. I mean, I'll just say it too, I guess. And I mean, there's so many like amazing guests we just have, man. We just have Mark Wahlberg. We actually have Ken Jeong uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, Mr. Chow on Hangover. Oh. And uh, yeah, he's, he's an amazing dude, man. What an, I mean, he's definitely one of my favorite. He's actually my good friend. I invited him and he just, he's definitely one of my favorites. And we had a lot of cool just like you said. I actually invited another one and he accepted it. He was going to be surprised, but uh, I'll just say it here, Terry Crews. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, he, Terry oh, Crews. I, I texted him. I texted him, and he just said, like, hey, I told him, I was like, hey, you're, like, everyone's favorite, and uh, can you just come and join? He said, like, yes, yes, yes. He, like, texted me three times, yes. But That's uh, it, I, I like him a lot. Obviously, I, I get to know him, like, everybody from White Chicks, you know, from his... That's what I was ready to say. Well, so, my, ki but, uh, my kid's ahead. a huge mass Singer fan, so if Ken oh, Jeong, oh, yeah. if, if, I mean, he's got he's taken on a whole nother level. They don't know him from The Hangover or anything like that, but mass Singer, when yeah. they heard that, they were like, Dad, you need to go get him. I'm like, listen, I'm not on these Zoom chats. Sure, I'm, I, 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 might, I'm, I might try to invite him to like in the next uh, couple of weeks then. That would be amazing. Yeah. He won't be more important than Vincent Poirier, but of course. he would just have to do. Hey, look, I, I, I'm being honest here. Like, it's just refreshing to see you guys, to talk to you guys. I, I miss you all. I know, like, you know, I miss basketball. Uh, it's refreshing to catch up on you, with you guys. It's refreshing, I think, for people to hear your voices. Uh, stay safe. Stay ready. Hopefully, we'll get some more guidance tomorrow, like you said, when you guys talk to Adam Silver. Um, and hopefully, we're talking about more NBA basketball soon. Until then, I need everybody to go like, subscribe, The Ennis Cantor Show, leave a five-star review. Go down there, Better. leave a you comment. You got nothing to do, man. You, you got, got nothing really, to do, literally. Literally nothing to do. Go tell us how much you like having Vincent on the podcast. Maybe we can get him back for a third time soon. Uh, and again, hopefully. He's going to start, he's gonna start charging us. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I'm expensive, bro. Ooh. Are you on pay the rent. Are you on camp? Are you on cameo yet, Vincent? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, subscribe. Okay. Do all the things. <laughs> Go book him, please. Go book Vincent on cameo. Amazing. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll catch you next time on the Ennis Cancer Show podcast.